Hello, Virgos. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley. I'm going to do another What's in Your Energy spread for you all. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Any other major placements in which you may have Virgo in your chart. My loves, somebody reported my last video last week and I got banned from YouTube for a week. I literally had two other videos uploading to post for you all, but they didn't let me comment. They didn't let me post on the community board. They wouldn't even let me like do like anything. So I am sorry that I have been MIA. I'm going to post this video and then I'm going to go um, post the other two from last week. I'm hoping some of you still needed that clarity from last week and it'll resonate and give you some messages. But yeah, they reported my channel for nudity, which is very strange. Let's go ahead and get started, my loves. Oh my goodness, I hope everyone is doing well, staying safe, staying healthy. Check out my website, lunajadebotanica.com, if you haven't done so already. Check out my candles, my bracelets. Um, what else is there? Just check everything out. <laughs> Virgos, let's see what's in your energy. They wanted me to use my Nightmare Before Christmas deck today. I feel like some the wheels are turning. I just heard the wheels are turning. I actually heard the wheels are turning... And then I heard the wheels on the bus go round and round. Oh, something in my window just popped. Okay. Someone's ear popping? Some, but something about somebody's ear popping? I don't know. Virgos, let's see what we got going on. I want to get straight into it because I've missed you all. This is your energy. This is your surrounding. This is the mutual, most likely outcome or what's to come. It would help if you guys could see. All right. Virgos, over here. This one's hotter. Y'all have been waiting for these messages. I'm hearing someone like, hurry, hurry, hurry. <laughs> we have the page of needles, which is swords in reverse. Whew. That means somebody's getting tired of stalking and they want to talk. The chariot in reverse, cancer energy. Four of pent, I'm sorry, presence, which is pentacles in reverse, and the world, Sag energy in reverse, Cancer and Sag. Ooh, I just heard mother issues, mommy issues, chills. Someone is really doing like some deep soul diving here, because I'm hearing a message, but it's talking to me like almost like Yoda <laughs> or almost like in an older poem like a Edgar Allan Poe poem because I heard let you go I cannot I heard I'm tired of things not moving forward let you go I cannot with the page of needles here ooh, this could have to do with a family matter definitely a broken family or a family issue that involves children. Um, it could be your children or your grandchildren, Virgos. The chariot is mother energy. It's cancer energy, but it's also family. Right now, Chiron is doing some weird things in cancer. Oh, what is it? Mars is in retrograde in cancer, I believe. Mars rules aggression. Um appetite Ooh, some of you could be overeating or a lack of hunger <clears throat> lack of appetite but mars and cancer for those of you that have chiron and cancer which is i think 88 to 1988 to 1992 um it could mean there's old mother wounds coming to the surface or things revolving around family things left unsaid around family Okay, the page of needles upright. This is a looky loo, which someone has definitely been watching you the past couple weeks, months, Virgo. Never sees, ceases to fail with you. Someone's always watching. <laughs> I'm hearing that song. Like somebody's watching me, you know? <laughs> and I get no privacy. Um... It could be some of you are honing in on the things you regret as a parent or grandparent or things that you wish your parents would kind of fess up to. You know, there is something about um, 
looking back and kind of regretting the way things played out. I'm getting a lot of overstimulation that has occurred previously that you're looking back on and just getting so upset with. Um, or some of you are seeing the pattern. Some of you are realizing the way that you maybe handle things could be the way that you saw your family handle things, you know, and you're you're trying to break that. There's something about that that you're trying to break. Oh my god, I'm having like a weird vision. I'm having a weird vision of somebody pushing someone in a closet. Oh, chills. It could be that this is, there's like something that you wish you could do over or redo or take back. I feel for some of you that are resonating with that part. However, I do feel that there is somebody who is <clears throat> also watching you, watching you, watching you. And wants to have a serious talk. Could be that your mother or mother figure is looking back realizing the things that they did and they're regretting it. And for some of you, they're realizing why you kind of stay away from them or the mother uh, relationship that you have with this person did not prosper the way that they wished or hoped or something. A mother is definitely looking back and what <laughs> I was about to say pondering and the video that says pondering is the one that got reported. So I'm getting like looking back and realizing their wrongs for the first time, I feel, for some of y'all. Someone's mother is looking back and feeling bad about their actions for the very first time. Somebody is going through some sort of spiritual awakening and they wish that they could speak to you on it, but there is absolutely no way they would rather just let it go and not go back there, okay? For some of you, I think strongly, like some of you need to hear the message that you have broken that curse. If some of you own up and take accountability to the things that you regret or have taken back uh, or wish you could take back, a serious conversation and owning up to things, my loves, is definitely... I'm, I feel like somebody's holding my hand like this, like, and I'm hearing someone say, like, read it, read it. I feel like somebody's just holding my hand like this, like it got really warm right here. I, I feel like some of you have taken major accountability for your actions in the past, and there's something that you've broken on mom's side, a generational curse, a childhood trauma, or both. Oh, chills. I I heard that's the last of the trauma. That's the last of the trauma. The curse is inflicting childhood trauma in some way, shape, or form. Like, it's handed down. And I think that it's definitely going to stop now. It's stopping here, or it has stopped. I also feel strongly like there is somebody who is kind of trying to come to terms with they will never continue a connection with you oh damn I'm hearing things like in a very deep poetic voice I'm hearing I'll only have a family with you in my dreams how many of y'all have been having crazy dreams lately the dreams are supposed to be super duper important. For those of you that have my dream journal, um, I kind of want to share some of mine to see what how they resemble with yours. But um, I've been having crazy nightmares. We'll be a family again only in my dreams. Someone's really missing family life with you. I'm getting there's like even kids and dogs involved. Or someone is really, really wanting to be a part of your family. I feel like someone is really reminiscing on a time 
when there's there I'm, I'm getting strong like there was a family unit at one point with the four of pentacles here in reverse my loves I'm getting something about a poem something about a poem or like some sort of um I keep hearing things like so poetic and right now I just heard a, a drum like how you hear at like the poetry slam events um, there's something very poetic here that's happening or that is very symbolic to you or this person something about a poem something about really beautiful words or the way that you have expressed it or something somebody kept a poem is what I'm hearing somebody has a poem locked away I just heard, I wish you would talk to me beautifully. I wish you would talk to me beautifully. There is some sort of mother wound healing and shriveling up here. Like I'm seeing like pores even closing. A very stressful and overwhelming situation is shriveling up and closing. I'm seeing a, a balloon deflate. And like, you know what I'm saying? When, when uh, Harry Potter number three, where he says ridiculous and the monster turns into balloon and flies all over the room. Uh, it's ridiculous how long it's taken to heal this or something. Or it's ridiculous how someone is coming to realization with how badly they may have messed up on certain things with certain people with you Virgo the four of pentacles talks about releasing and for some of you this person would rather just let it go and never return to that conversation to that time like they would rather let it go than apologize than to own up to it than to be accountable than to bring it up some of them may even lie or fib about that ever occurring or happening here Sag energy. Sag energy in reverse, my loves, means the world in reverse means a cycle that hadn't closed until now. Words left unsaid. Things left open. Someone never took accountability for their actions, for their behaviors, for their words, for their temperaments is what I'm hearing. I also feel there was like a rageful type of energy that occurred there. And for some of you, this affected you through your skin is what I'm hearing. Like I'm seeing like pores closing. There's definitely something about skin here. There's something about letting the dirt out or something like letting airing out the dirt. Someone doesn't want I feel strongly like this is a mother figure for you Virgos may not always resonate this way but there's something about somebody realizing I could have done better I didn't do better, something like that. I'm seeing a lot of like drainage also, like a lot of things are being drained right now. Not so much like energy being drained, but I'm seeing like dark fluid, like just 
coming out of a gallon or like a like a pitcher or something have you seen that video my loves where they put like i don't know like coffee and then they're saying this is trauma and then they're pouring water and water and water and all the coffee spills out till it's just water there is a cleansing going on a clearing going on a detoxing going on someone is finally opening their eyes to their spiritual um ascension and the biggest part of that was taking accountability some of you have taken accountability and that curse closed with you I'm smelling cucumbers mm. in your surrounding energy my loves you have the queen of candles the three of candles the seven of potions in reverse and the knight of candles in reverse <clears throat> strong Leo energy ego ego when I see this I'm thinking of ego there's something about somebody crying I feel that there's something about somebody reading a poem or reading a book or something and crying reading a scripture or reading something oh cinnamon sorry that was my dog <laughs> uh, I'm also hearing like some of you are releasing your parents that's what I'm getting I'm hearing I released my parents from the burden of not doing their best or something like that. Some of you are releasing the resentment towards parental figures or ancestry or the family you were born into. You're releasing them of the burden of what they could not do. I keep wanting to say pondering, pondering, pondering. And that's exactly the word that I put in my last video the queen of candles the three of candles the seven of potions and the knight of candles means somebody to me this means somebody is getting hit smack dab in their ego someone's gonna get like not literally but I'm getting like someone's getting punched in the gut and like the air is gonna get punched out of them or took the air out you know like there's something about like a oh, like a oh there's something very humbling coming or if not it's about to and I feel like it has to do with some sort of like scripture or words or something very beautiful that's going to touch somebody's heart there I go I want to cry The Queen of Candles is Leo energy, and the Three of Candles talks about waiting and being patient. I don't think that anybody thought that this was going to happen, Virgos. Not your angels, not the universe, not the higher power. The Queen of Candles is Leo energy. Leo rules ego. All right, the Queen of Candles is definitely somebody very strong, someone who's a go getter, someone who makes things happen. However, they are also very, um, if in a negative sense, which I'm feeling this is semi-negative, they are very much so like a victim mentality sometimes. Why well, didn't do better? Because this didn't allow me to, you know? I didn't do this because I didn't have the opportunity. I was waiting for the right opportunity and it never came or something, you know? There is something about this person who has always made excuses for themselves. For some of you, this is a lover. This is a mother or father of your child. This is, this is something to do with family, okay? Whether it be the family you created or the family you came from. <clears throat> There is something about somebody not making excuses for themselves anymore. Why? Because the higher power 
spiritually is going to punch them in the gut and they're going to get the wind taken out of them. The seven of cups upright. This is a variety. This is variations. This is confusion. This is dreams. This is head in the clouds. When it's in reverse, it's like, no, whatever the transit is hitting right now, someone is getting flashbacks or a glimpse happening right before their eyes. And it's going to kill their ego. It's going to bring that high and mighty um, persona or facade all the way back down. That pretty little kitty cat is a very ugly wolf underneath. They're finally having to see what they look like in the eyes of others. They're finally starting to see where other people are coming from when they don't take accountability or something like that. I just heard pretty little life, pretty little life, pretty little life. There's something about a lot of jealousy also. Ooh, chills. There's something about a lot of jealousy. Uh, family members that are jealous of you, Virgo. Maybe it could be a spouse. Maybe it could be a mother. I'm getting chills up and down, and my vision just felt foggy right now. It's crazy because the past three days, I've been feeling super foggy. And I asked my kiddos, I'm like, does it look gloomy in here? And they said, no, it's just you. I don't know what it is, but I feel like the house is full of smoke. Um, quite honestly I feel like things are dissolving I feel like things are very much so dissolving right before your eyes I have the chills up and down my body I feel strongly my loves that this is definitely going to be a very big turnaround for you whether you speak to this person or not or they come to speak to you or not or take accountability to your face spiritually your spirit is going to be a lot more calm a lot more free a lot less tense as i said that my back just popped so yes there's a lot of like little gargoyles being lifted off your shoulders when i see people have demons on their back i, I see them as little gargoyles it's weird um but that's what i'm seeing like i'm seeing like they're slowly going to be taken off There's like a, a wrench in the plans. Someone threw a monkey wrench in the plans. They didn't think somebody would take accountability. But they have or they are. In the mutual energy, my loves, the king of candles, more Sag energy. King of candles, six of presents in reverse, and the eight of candles. Oh, Yeah. Oh yeah, someone is very much so inclined to speak to you, to speak on this, <clears throat> to make it right, or to be heard. Even if you don't accept it, they want you to hear them out. Even if they have to relay a message through somebody else. The king of candles is that Sag energy. <clears throat> Lots of fire, Aries Leo Sag. Is somebody I feel also like on this side it's a male and female like I'm getting like spouses like either the female turned the male against you or something or the male turned the female against you there's something about like somebody like just obeying the hateful person's energy you know not all or it could be like I'm getting jealousy I'm getting a lot of jealousy for some reason. This queen of wands is like a devil in disguise. The king of candles here, my loves, is very... Oh, my phone tilted. I'm getting deja vu so bad right now. I'm getting deja vu like crazy. Like I've, I've done this before. I've said this. Um... With the king of candles here, my loves, this means that this someone is a go-getter. This is someone who knows what they want. I'm rushing to go get it, and I'm taking action. Candles are wands, and wands are action. And I'm hearing, hear me out. You know, it's definitely going to be this month. If not this week, definitely this month. 
I feel that strongly. Somebody is being urged to listen to their heart and it's like there's something definitely they want to say and it's going to be very urgent for them. Like they, there's something about like a, a, a an urgency in this. I don't know what it is, but I'm seeing an upside down heart. And I'm hearing, let me rip my heart out and give it to you. Somebody's coming full on emotional or somebody's coming with a very, very, very heartfelt conversation, conversation, conversation. Okay. They're wanting to make things right. They're wanting to own up to their mistakes. They're wanting to own up to what they said, what they did, how they've been, how they've treated you, whatever it is. The six of pe presence or pentacles in reverse. This talks about an even scale. Damn. This could mean so many things. I'm seeing so many different stories here. With the six of pet, I almost said peasants, six of presents. This is somebody wanting to make things right. Even if we have to leave, let's leave it on good terms. Something's haunting this person for sure. Something is definitely haunting this person. And with the Eight of Candles, Eight of Wands, this, my loves, is communication. Straight to the point, forward movement, communication. Someone has a lot to say. Look how big that mouth is open. Someone has a lot they would like to tell you. I'm getting like an exaggerated sob, like, ah, ha, ha, like, you know, like a very exaggerated crying. And I'm getting blurry again. I just heard this is all going to go away. This is all going to go away. There's something very significant about this, this energy, this read, this person, and how it affects you. There's something like a, like a very, very big 360 is going to happen. Underneath the deck of the five of swords, five of needles, this means something from the past is definitely coming back. Something from the past is definitely coming back. The sun in reverse, Leo energy, something that has been hidden or tucked away or has not been resolved for a very, very long time. I swear, I just thought I saw somebody like, I thought I saw something right there. I, I thought I saw someone flicking a book open, like, like flipping the pages. Is somebody reading a book or someone's reading self-help or someone's reading old notebooks or something? There's something about, again, words, strong words, strong, beautiful words. I don't know. Oh, my loves, you have to tell me if this message is resonating. Let me know in the comments below. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Let's get some moon messages from my lovelies. Let's see what's, what we got going on here soul food there's something that's about to make your soul very happy this is like the final there's definitely something to do with mom for sure because i'm seeing when i see soul food i see the movie soul food and there's that song by boys is it boys to men the song for mama the song for mama You know I love you. That song says, you know I love you. I'm about to cry so freaking hard. I don't know if this is maybe somebody's mom coming through um, from uh, the spiritual world, just coming to say that they regret how they they have regrets in life that they couldn't fix in lifetime. You know what I mean? I'm getting so many um, 
and I'm crying hard and I'm getting so many different stories I do feel like somebody's mom came through also to say like I I regret the things that happened definitely I feel that someone's mom wasn't around look at oh my goodness I was just about to say that I'll show you here in a little bit embrace strong emotions you may have been ignoring even if it feels a bit odd really ponder on what's important to you in life it's a wonderful time to follow your heart and deepest creative desires that's the mutual energy my loves okay so someone is going to have this very strong urge this very strong feeling and they're going to act on it it's going to be like they have no choice but to act on it this time and then we have glow up here glow up there is something very significant again about a realization here it's almost like somebody finally had to grow up and in turn i feel like the energetic scales are balanced when this occurs i have my deck here my lovelies but as you can see there was one upside down health okay this is going to improve you in your area of health some way shape or form again i was seeing skin i was seeing anxiety i was seeing like even posture there's a very very big brick coming off your back perhaps somebody's going to get news about health or something there's definitely something about as i see that i see like a little white feather outside just falling down um, I feel like, I feel like somebody's mom came through here. I just heard the mark of an angel. Oh my God, I have the chills so bad. The mark of an angel. Like, I'm like about to cry so freaking hard, my lips. I feel like somebody's mom or grandma or somebody came through to say that they were sorry, that they didn't do better when they were around. Um, yeah, I'm full on crying. Um, oh, that's so crazy. That is so crazy. There is something about somebody realizing the innocence and the purity of someone or, or something like that. Okay. There's definitely like forgiveness here and releasing. What did I say in the beginning? I free my, my parents from the burden of what they could not do better or something, you know? Oh my god, I'm crying. Virgos, let's see what we got in the love cards. A hole in the soul. Oh my god, this is the last the last hole that you're patching up in this soul is that mother wound. Um, for some of you, whether it be a mother or father or family wound of some sort. Okay, a hole in the soul. That is crazy. I've never even seen that card. I definitely feel like, yeah, somebody somebody came and left a message here. There's a whole other shift coming, I feel. There's another shift coming, I feel like, and I feel like it's like a skyrocket on up. Ugh, I don't know, Virgos. That is what I have for you. I hope that helps. I hope that resonates for those who need it. I am sending you lots of love, light, peace, clarity. May peace always surround you. I love y'all so much and I will talk to you soon.